Hello do-it-yourselfers. If you're like most people, your home's electrical system tends to be just one big mystery. We typically aren't too concerned about how things work until something goes wrong. Then we have to struggle through the steps of figuring out exactly what went wrong and more importantly, how to fix it. My name is Terry Peterman and I am the internet electrician. My goal is to take the mystery out of your home's electrical system. I want you to understand how things work, how to troubleshoot when things go wrong, and how to safely complete the most common electrical projects and repairs. But the first step is to understand exactly what's involved with your home's electrical system. To help you with that, I've developed a series of videos that will break down your home's electrical system. By the end of this series, you're going to have a clear understanding of how the power gets into your home, how it's distributed throughout your home, and right down to the end components like the receptacles, the switches, and the lights, etc. We're going to start at the breaker and we're going to work our way through each and every circuit. I'll discuss the amperage of the breaker, the wire size, the wire type, and all the components that form part of that circuit. I'm going to use my home here in Arizona as a practical example as it contains almost everything you might find within a typical home. It's got all the basic stuff as well as some other things like a pool and a spa and a sub panel. Each circuit will be a separate video just in order to keep them short and allow you to narrow your focus to the specific area of the home that you might be having issues with or need help with. So let's get started. Let's talk about how the power gets from the utility and into the home. So we're going to start outside. Here in Arizona the main panels are typically located outside on the outside wall of the garage and that's where the meter is and it's a big combination service center with a meter, main breaker and your distribution plant panel. So let's get started. Here we are outside the house. This is the outside wall of the garage. The street is behind me. So the power is transformed in the big transformers and travels by the ductwork into each and every home. First it goes through the meter. That's how they can charge you. So the power flows through the meter socket, out of the meter socket, and then in to the panel. This is a combination weatherproof load center with a main. So out of the meter, into the main breaker, 200 amp, two pole breaker here. Then when you turn on that breaker, feeds all the bus bars that each of these breakers picks up and feeds the power throughout your home. I'm gonna explain the panel in more detail. We're gonna go back inside and use a panel inside in a little more controlled environment so I can show you exactly how things work in a main panel and how they're connected. Okay, so we're going to explore the main panel. Now, as I mentioned, we're not going to look at mine outside here as it's hot and live, so better environment in here on my demonstration board. This is set up just like a main panel. So it's got all the components of a main panel that you'll find outside. So we're going to take off the panel cover and see what we got. Okay, so I removed four screws that took off the main panel cover. First thing you're going to notice is there's a main compartment here that has another cover to it. Below here is the branch circuits, above here is your service entrance. The reason there's another cover here is because anything here and above you can't shut off without calling the utility because that comes hot right off the meter. So let's open this up and explain what's happening inside here. So I'm zoomed in just as tight as I can to the main panel compartment and what I'm talking about being live all the time is right here these two wires come right off the meter base. So it feeds through the meter onto these wires, onto the line lugs of the main breaker. In this case, it's a 100 amp, two pole, 240 volt breaker. Outside for the home, it's a 200 amp breaker. Principles remain the same. So the hot lugs are on the, on the lugs on this breaker and it feeds through, clamps onto the bus bar. And then when you turn that breaker on, it livens up all the bus bars down in your branch circuit compartment, which we'll get to in a bit. Here's your neutral conductor that comes from the utility through your meter base, bonds the meter base or earths it, then it also connects to your neutral bus bar here. We have a ground wire, whatever system of ground that's deemed suitable in your area that uh, varies throughout the country and throughout different codes and jurisdictions. Could be ground rods, could be ground plate, could be the structural steel in the building, it could be a water main if it's metal water main depending on what year the installation was, but all different forms of ground that you might find, but here's your ground wire coming in through a bonding bushing, just to bond that or earth it. Then your ground wire comes back around here, 
and ties on to your neutral bus bar. Then, in your main circuit breaker panel, that's the only place in the home's electrical system that the neutral and the ground are one. They're bonded or earthed together here, bonded by a strap. You can see back in the corner here, that's a metal strap that actually physically connects the neutral bus bars right to ground. And then in behind here, you can see another strap that goes in behind the uh, breaker panel section, comes back up and connects this neutral bus bar together. So everything is all one at your main panel, your ground, your neutral. From here on in, branch circuits on, neutrals have to be separate from the ground wires. So let's look at the branch circuits. So here's the branch circuit compartment. Main up here, below that is where that other panel cover would, would keep you out of. Branch circuits. Now, every one of the main, when the main breaker is on, it, it livens up these bus bars. It alternates. So say the red phase will be connected to the red bus bar here, here, and here alternating. The black phase, 120 volt, will connect to every other bus bar here, 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 and here. So that's why when you put in a 240 volt breaker, it goes across two bus bars to give you that 240 volt between the two 120 volt legs. A single pole breaker can just clamp onto a bus bar and feed 120 volt. So there you have it. These are, this is an example of a tandem breaker. There's two 15 amp circuits on either side of it and a 30 amp two pole in the middle. The panel outside is a little different. Every one is a single position breaker. No tandems like in this panel. But the principles again are the same. So in here, now you clamp a breaker onto the bus bar. It picks up the power, feeds it through to the lug. That's the load lug. And your neutral bar all your white wires connect to the neutral bus bar and all your ground wires connect directly to bus bars that are connected right to the panel ground. So just to wrap up this video on the main panel and all its components, we're going to talk a little bit about how the utility gets power to your home. They distribute power throughout the neighborhood or throughout the country as a matter of fact through high voltage. Now the higher the voltage, the lower the amps that will flow through that wire to get the same amount of power. So they use very high voltage, distribute it through the lines that you'll see coming from the generator stations and they end up coming to your neighborhood. Now in this neighborhood in particular, the high voltage lines come in underground and they go to transformers. Now you'll see transformers about every fourth or fifth home. You'll see them in your front yard or maybe they're in your backyard. Or if your area is serviced from overhead wires, they'll be on a pole in your neighborhood. Now from that pole, that, tr that transforms that high voltage down to what we can use, which is 120 slash 240 volt. So that comes from the transformer then, in the case here, in ductwork underground, comes up into that combination panel I showed you outside, feeds through the meter base into your main 200 amp breaker in this case, and there you go. It's into your home, able to be fed to the rest of your home, by the use of the branch circuits that we're going to get into next. So thanks for tuning in. I add new videos on a regular basis, so make sure you subscribe to this channel. You'll be the first to know when there's new and updated material both here on YouTube and on the website. Thanks again for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe, check out what's here now, and come back often. Thank you.